AI is already part of your life every day. You have algorithms that examine the past weather, make predictions about future weather. There are algorithms that help you drive your car to a specific destination, or even park your car in some cases. An algorithm is code that collects information, assembles it in a particular way, and then provides an output to you in a human understandable language. My name is Rick Young. I chair the Whitehead Innovation Initiative Scientific Advisory Board. Artificial intelligence is an advanced form of computing. It can ask very sophisticated questions about large amounts of data and provide answers that are along the lines of how people think and process information. For example, what are called large language models are models where data from every language on the internet has been assembled into a database that a machine can now use to make predictions about, for example, what is the next sentence you would say having seen already one or two sentences of a particular type. A new and very valuable area where AI is being deployed is in health diagnostics. When you have an x-ray or when you have other types of procedures that give you image data, that data can be used by pathologists or other physicians to make a diagnosis. AI allows you to teach a machine how to recognize a pathology, a dysregulated feature in cells or tissues, and make a proper diagnosis. The combination of the machine and the human then reduce the chance of error. AI has become exceedingly useful in biology in many different ways, the most famous of which has been the ability to predict a protein structure. Proteins start out as amino acids on a string, and proteins have to fold up into a very specific structure in order to do their functional job. For many years, we used a very laborious process called crystallography to take images of these proteins in three dimensions and interpret their structure. Now, machines can learn all of the structures that have ever been solved by the very laborious procedure and make predictions if you just give it the string of amino acids that you know should be part of a protein. It used to take us four or five years, the time of a PhD thesis, to determine the structure of one protein. And now we can obtain the structure of thousands of proteins in two seconds. An area I'm especially excited about is work that my own lab has done, trying to go beyond the protein folding code Proteins don't just fold up to do their job. They go to specific places in the cell, get together with other proteins that share that function. And we develop a large language model that allows us to look at the protein sequence and predict, like a zip code would predict, where that protein is going to go. Just a few of the interesting projects at Whitehead that are using AI. For example, they're using it to monitor cell images to learn what changes in individual genes might do to the features of a cell. Try to better understand how dopamine neurons influence our behavior, to better understand the determinants of opioid use disorder, to better understand what kinds of cocktails of factors might cause cells to take on new fates and states and identities. Biology is full of remarkable complexity. 
and AI offers us the opportunity to more efficiently understand that complexity.